today we finally managed to move camp and uh, it's been a long time coming, it's been a long four months. We moved camp, we broke everything out this morning, hooked up containers, science container to the storage container, you know, we broke out the living caboose, the living caboose underneath, you know, I've been caked in ice for, for four months, you know, from the shower, um, from the Wabasto. It's a beautiful thing, so uh, finally we're moving north again. And uh, I can't tell you how good it feels. We've, uh, we've moved up about 700 metres from a, a section that when we came south we, we winched through. It's about two kilometre long winch. Um, it's, it's a blue ice patch, there's major zigzagging involved, there's crevasses all very visible on the surface. Um, and we winched all the way through this just to, just to make sure we, you know, we didn't have any trouble. There was one crevasse which opened up, quite a big crevasse which opened up, but luckily we managed to get enough snow to fill that crevasse, um, bridge it and get over it. The guys are going to get the GPR out, they're going to test the GPR, make sure it's all up and running and ready to go. We're heading back now, we're getting the scoops from where we dropped off. There's another camp that we passed about three, four kilometres back down the road. So we're going to pick the scoops up, bring all them back to camp. And then tomorrow we'll be ready to leapfrog forward again. GPR, check there's no crevassing, move forward and then winch through the blue ice section. Um, but basically the next week's going to be pretty hairy. Horrible crevassing, blue ice and an area we've dubbed the, the hill of hell due to the crevassing and uh, you know the close proximity of crevassing plus a very steep hill full of crevassing. So, um, so yeah, so exciting times, we're heading north, we're heading home.